Here comes the danger, sent by the savior, welcome the rest of you. Good night, fellow students of the Cable Campus. Now, I'm not here to give you any antics, and neither will I allow my verbosity to be detrimental to your mental faculties of acquiescence. Some of you may want to know who is happy husbands. I am first and foremost a very hardworking person, currently a second year law student, and already having obtained a bachelor's in accounting, I would have been best positioned to witness the development of the guild and the Cape Hill campus over the last five years. From my first day, I was involved in the affairs of the Guild of, the, of Students. As I thought, I deserved to know what my guild was doing for me. This eventually led to me becoming a member of the Public Relations Committee, a member of the National Affairs Committee for two years, Deputy Games Committee Chairperson when we hosted the Intercampus Games, reviving the Barbados Student Association as president, and over the last year, serving as Guild Librarian. These have all provided me with ample opportunity to analyze the successes in previous years and the almost complete demise of the Guild, specifically over the last year. Hmm. However, I decided to seek election as Guild President after countless requests to do so by many students who have said, Harry, I have had enough. As a result, enough about me. Tonight is about you, the students. The first issue I want to touch on is leadership. Last year, there was no leadership. No one to motivate or even facilitate counselors. Oftentimes, having to deal with the statement, the president is out of the island. As librarian, it took two months for me to get permission to clean out the library. I have had enough. That is why, if elected president, I will ensure that if off-island, tasks are delegated, and it is widely known where I am and for what reason. And, don't, and, and there will be an accompanying report on my return. I don't doubt for a second that I know what it takes to motivate and facilitate counselors. The second issue I want to touch on, tuition fees for Barbadian students. A failed protest on a Friday when there were few classes and where there were no notices and the Guild Council still to this day has not met as a quorum to discuss this issue. This begs you to wonder why has there been no resolution for Barbadian students. I have had enough. That is why I've taken the initiative to start negotiations with the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Barbados who stated that they are willing to accept alternatives. Upon election, I will host the forum so that your voice will be echoed and I will demand a resolution from the government of Barbados with regard to this tuition fee situation as this situation cannot be left unattended. Now, never would I have imagined that there would be no Kaduival here at the Cato campus. The late notice of its cancellation, keeping band leaders in the dark as to the situation and still failing to negotiate a deal with administration amplifies the fact that I have had enough. If elected president, I will work with the National Affairs Committee to ensure a reinstatement of a cost-effective Kaduival, as Kaduival cannot be kicked to the curb. It is an integral part of campus culture, as well as ensures that there is an avenue for cultural displays, whether music or dance. I now move on to the deplorable shuttle service. The Bridgetown Shuttle Stop has students lining up like cattle. <laughs> the buses are down, and there's no notification for such. I have had enough. I will improve the deficient shuttle service through a ticketing and schedule system. I will propose that tickets be distributed by the safety officers so there is no need to wait in the line in the hot sun. I will also ask for the removal of the cattle bars because students are not animals. And urge administration to effectively use the displays to notify of any shuttle delays. I will now touch on the food options here on campus. <laughs> Someone needs to tell the cafeteria that the small chicks that they choose to that they choose to offer clearly have not reached the chicken stages yet. <laughs> and still, the prices are going up. I have had enough. That is why I will say to admin that we don't care about the fancy names of the food. We just want proper food. 
and I will explore the offering of a franchise on this campus, the possibility of Shafet or even KSC. You're receiving your grades late. Students should never have to register for courses when they have never received their grades. And worse yet, when they try to register, sometimes the system crashes. I have had enough. That is why I will work with administration to ensure an upgrade of this system to better facilitate the volume of students, and I will urge them for earlier grade releases. Now, first impressions are supposed to be greatest. And last year's poor excuse for a freshers' week was most disheartening due to the fact that it made you, the freshers, feel unwelcome. I have had enough. Hence, I will revamp freshers' week and FET and better promote it and ensure that there are activities during the week to make next year's freshers feel welcome. Also, the guild will provide assistance on registration day for those struggling to use the already user and friendly system. Issue number eight, integration. <laughs> a fact that was attempted three times. No discussions, nothing, poor promotion, and indeed, this was a mockery, and I have had enough. The University of the West Indies was founded upon the concept of regionalism. That is why I will work with the ISCC to ensure that this week is properly planned and one to look forward to in the future with the return of the Caribbean Reasons Lecture Series, as well as ensuring better promotion of this week. Now, Guild Counselors Week, you're still waiting on it, no? This is where the student body is supposed to be introduced to their guild, where counselors give back to society, where counselors interact with those who they will have to work with. And this was another flaw, and you guys know it, I have had enough. Counselors Week, under me, will also be revamped to ensure that counselors are present on the Guild lawn and they will walk around the campus raising awareness as to their posts and what to expect of them over the next year. This now leads me to my next issue of promotion and transparency. The students never know what the Guild is doing, where the money is going, and sometimes even what is the purpose of the Guild. These all highlight the poor guild student body relations and the lack of transparency. And I know you guys know it for sure that I have had enough. So under my stewardship, not only will reports be available at guild general meetings, but they will also be available in the guild library. And I will seek the assistance of the Office of Public Information to disseminate vital information via email. Now, a lack of outreach and wider social contributions, as well as the poor credit relationship, have all damaged the issue, the image of the guild. That is why we can hardly get sponsorship today. And I'm pretty sure you guys know it, that I have had enough. I will ensure that through the PRO, apologies are sent to those with whom we have had bad relations. I will ensure publicity of outreach initiatives in order to repair that image and seek sponsorship from those private sector companies who want to tap into the market here. And just uh, update for you guys. I've already started negotiations with PriceSmart so that we can have a student discount there. Now, the delivery of late salvations to clubs and societies can no longer continue as this severely hampers planning. And I know you guys know that I have had enough. A proper fiscal plan will be developed to ensure prompt receipt of such subventions. And I will also acquire a tank to reduce that weekly cost to clubs and societies. Now, part-time students, I know you've been abandoned. And don't worry, I know that you have had enough. That is why I will reopen the complex booth in the Royal Marshall Complex, where counselors will be available on a weekly basis to meet with you, the part-timers. And I will also explore the possibility of a student-led evening care facility for those with children as a, and also push for more parking facilities. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is clear that this girl needs to be rebuilt and restored. And it needs someone who is competent, experienced, and responsible to lead. Someone who is youthful and relatable, which is most important. 